Okay, uh, hi everybody. I noticed that there is a lack of GOAT content for people who have learned the rules but then don't really know enough to jump into more specific uh, topic-based lectures, which I think roughly corresponds to the skill levels um, up to 15k. And so in any, in any other game, um, there's pretty good content which helps bridge this gap between a complete noob um, and a beginner who knows how the game works on a, a little bit of a better level. So in chess, uh, which I recently started playing, there's John Bartholomew's Chess Fundamental series. For first-person shooters, you can look up plenty of basic mechanic guides, um, and the same goes with any MOBAs like League of Legends. So the goal of this series of videos is to give an overview of one, what one might call um, common or basic knowledge beyond the rules and the most simple concepts like life and death. So, you know, think like a 200 series lecture um, in college. And so the end goal is that um, I hope that players will have a platform uh, after watching these videos to, to stand on and not be totally lost watching content creators like you know Nick Sabicki or Dwyrin and many of the other fantastic teachers out there. Um, so moving on to content, um, in this first video I want to give really just one concept to think about um, and that's the concept of efficiency, right? So Go is a turn-based game with the same number of pieces played by each player on a finite board. That means that the player who can make better use of their moves uh, to make more points will win the game. So that's really the starting, the starting point for any other topic of conversation. How can I make more points than the opponent and how can I minimize the amount of points that the opponent makes? So to throw out some advanced terms you might have heard before, um, the reason why players worry about things like influence, even results in the corner, invasion, reduction, making bases, staying safe, um, all of this is really just to maximize their points, uh, reduce their opponents, um, and create opportunities for that to happen. So now I'm just going to show you a couple examples from real games to help highlight the importance of making efficient moves. So um, this first game oh, is actually one of my games, one of my earliest games. Um, and so at, first of all, let's just take a look at this position. Um, and looking at white, white has this big clump of stones here in the middle. Um, and this is what we refer to um, with the Japanese term dango, which is basically a dumpling. You know, it's it's sort of useless. It sits there. It doesn't really do anything. Um, and so while white has spent, what is this, seven moves, um, making zero points and making a useless dumpling in the middle of the board, um, black has spent, you know, the equivalent amount of moves here, uh, making points in the corner. And so black here has made the more efficient moves, and black is definitely ahead in this game. Um, and yeah, even if we look through move by move, um, you can see, you know, like this move, you know, you can ask, what does this accomplish? What goal is this move serving? And the answer really is, I have no idea, you know. <laughs> um, and I would be very interested to, to see if anyone could come up with a rationale for this move. I played it and I have no idea either. So yeah, it says a lot about it. Um, same with this move, like doesn't really do anything. Um, and then this series of moves, you know, also doesn't really accomplish anything for white. Um, and in the end, we have this big dumpling in the center. So that's the first game. Um, the next game we're going to look at is, oh, let me change this. Okay, so this is a game I found um, using the IdiotBot um, account on KGS, uh, which is a 30Q bot that just plays awful, but it's it's meant to you know just be something that you can play when you're first trying out Go. So really, this first move um, is what I want to look at. Um, this is an example, the prime example of what you might call a zero point move. Um, and it's a zero point move because it makes zero points. It literally is a useless move. Um, it's not surrounding anything, so you're not making any points. Um, it's very, very easy to kill. Um, even something as simple as white playing on top of it um, will result in white either gaining points directly um, by killing it or making a big wall on the outside, which they can use to then make points um, through other means. Um, and so, yeah, this next move too, um, this isn't quite a zero point move. Um, it does effectively 
render um, this black stone absolutely useless. You know, it was like mostly useless before, but now it's it just it can't do anything. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah. So yeah, not much to say. Um, this is marginally better, but again, you know, you have to you have to think like what is what is the rationale behind these moves? You know, is this white stone being efficient in making points when it can play somewhere else, like here? And make more um, more points, um, and so yeah, just efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. This is again um, what I assume is someone trying to play Go for the very first time against the absolutely most basic um, beginner bot. Uh, so I'm not expecting to see high quality moves, but again, just trying to highlight the point that efficiency matters in Go. Okay, and then the last example I have is again. Um, one of my own games from when I started playing. Um, so let me pull it up right here. Yeah, this one. Okay, I apologize for technical stuff. Um, I'll try to get these details hammered out as I move on in the series. Um, and so looking at this board position, um, first of all, um, maybe hard to see right now if you're a beginner, but black hat stones here that died um, in, oh, can you see my cursor? No, you can't. Okay, so Black had some stones here that died. Um, and so immediately that tells you that you know Black hasn't done a very good job of making use of his stones because those four stones that died could have been used to make points somewhere else on the board. But instead, they're now off the board, um, exerting zero influence on any of the rest of the game. And so it's, you know, those are now... Um, in, in this specific example, those are zero point moves. Um, you could argue, oh, you know, what if a player sacrifices stones for a greater strategic purpose? Um, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this introductory concept right now. Um, really, the move I wanted to focus on here, though, is what I call the one point move. Zero point move is somewhat of a common term. Uh, one point move is not. So this is the move. Um, <laughs> I had. I distinctly remember um, I had a game where I made eyes like this, um, what is falsely called a ponuki, um, because I didn't capture stone. But yeah, I would play like, whoops, like this. It was like this kind of game. Um, and I filled a 19, half of a 19 by 19 board like this. Um, and this is, this is bad. This is awful. You shouldn't do this. Um, I think what often happens is when newer players hear about the concept of life and death and you have to make eyes to stay alive and eyes to, to make points, um, oh, you know, I'll just keep making eyes, single point eyes, um, and then I'll have those points and win the game, maybe, is the idea there. Um, but this is really, really inefficient for, you know, at first you need four, four moves to make one point, and then you need two moves to make one point um, and then sometimes maybe at peak efficiency you're making one point with every move um, compared to that to a single white move here or the three mo white moves here in the corner um, and the efficiency already is much greater than that uh, and so avoid these one point moves um, and avoid zero point moves like like this that don't accomplish anything um, so that's really all for today's video. If your play looks anything like the examples I showed today, um, you know, that's okay. We're, we're all learning. Um, but try playing a game where you just ask yourself one question before every move. Um, and that's what am I trying to accomplish with this move? And then if you don't like the answer or even can't come up with an answer at all um, as to why you're playing that move, try something else. Think of something that um, is serving a purpose, is making you points, and is helping you win the game. Uh, so yeah, that's the first video of the series. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm maximizing efficiency in these videos as well, uh, just like the game, uh, to make sure they've got acceptable clarity of content and production quality. So yeah, do let me know if there's anything that I can fix. Thanks for watching and Stonefly out.